hi guys you're welcome to the channel my name is Lillian and in this tutorial we'll be learning how to make this beautiful three-part corset dress now this is an inbuilt corset dress which means the blouse was made complete before joining the skirt to it in this tutorial i'll be teaching us how to make the complete blouse firstly let's begin with pattern drafting now this is my pattern paper i've already placed it on the table and then i will be using the top of my pattern paper as my shoulder line and then from the shoulder line i'm going to come down by 11 inches for the bust point and then 14 inches for the under bust and 17 inches for the waist and i'll be using the full length of the pattern paper which is 25 inches as the full top length now i'm going to extend these lines At the shoulder line i'm going to take my shoulder measurement which is 15 divided by 2 and that is seven and a half i'm going to come down by one inch for shoulder slanting and then for the neck opening which is the neck width i'm going to take three and a half inches but firstly i'll look at the picture to see how the dress looks and then i'm going to go ahead and take my three and a half inches for the neck depth now I'm going to slant my shoulder. Now from that shoulder slant, I'm going to measure 8 inches downwards and this will be my armhole length. You know how to derive your armhole measurement. You divide your bust by 4 and by 6. You divide your bust by 6 and then you add 1.5 inches to it. now i'll go ahead and label the lines so as not to confuse you this is my bust point this is my under bust this is my waist the bottom is my full top length and then this is my chest line or armhole length The next line we are going to measure is our upper chest line for this i'll be taking six inches now if your client wants cleavage they don't want the cup to be up close to their neck you can do eight inches for them you can also do seven inches but i'll be doing six inches for my clients because my clients likes modesty and that is our upper chest line the next line i'm going to be drawing is my nipple to nipple line and nipple to nipple is seven inches divided by two it's three and a half so i'm going to go ahead and mark out my three and a half inches and then i am going to use my ruler to rule a straight line all the way from the upper chest line till the full top length now at the under bust i'm going to take out one inch from both sides at the full top length i'm also going to take out one inch from both sides and then i'm going to use my ruler to draw out the straight line now at the upper chest line i'm going to take out one inch from both sides and i'm going to get my curve ruler and place a curve that will measure from the under bust all the way to the upper chest line and i'm going to go ahead and flip it over and also place a curve that will measure out from the under bust to the upper chest line now it is time for me to impute my body measurements so i'm going to go ahead and divide all of them so her bust is 37 divided by 4 which is 
and her waist is 30 divided by 4 which is 7.5 and then for the full top length we are going to be using the hip measurement for that area and her hip is 42 divided by 4 which is 10.5 now these measurements are her round body measurements i'm going to be marking them out at the bust point i'm going to measure 9.25 and i am going to mark it out i'm not adding any sewing allowance yet at the waist line i'm going to measure 7.5 plus these two inches that that i took out which is 9.5 and at the full top length i'm going to measure 10.5 plus the two inches that, that i took out which will give us 12.5 now i'm going to connect these lines As you can see while connecting i drew it all the way up to the armhole length now from the bottom i'm going to go up by three inches and i'm going to get my curve ruler and curve it into the dart line this will give shape to the blouse Now the next thing we want to work on is our bust dart. For the bust dart, I'm supposed to take one and a half inches, but I'm going to just take one inch because I do not want to take out a lot from this blouse. So I'm just going to take one inch for my bust dart and I'm going to slant it into the nipple point. Now this part with X is going to be cut out. Now it is time for us to work on our cup. But before we do that, we're going to come to the upper chest line and we're going to impute our shoulder measurements there, which is seven and a half. I'm going to mark out seven and a half. And then I'm going to get my curve ruler and place a very nice curve. Now, the next thing that I want to do now is to measure the cleavage now for the cleavage i'm going to go from the shoulder line down to eight inches i'm going to be going down to eight inches some people for their cleavage they will decide and then when i go down by eight inches i'm going to come in by half inch and get my curve ruler to curve it out so some people for the cleavage they might decide to use the bust point for it other people might decide to go one inch above the bust point but then like i said my client is a fan of modesty which is why i will be using eight inches for her now you're going to measure the distance from your bust point to the under bust for that one i have three inches and then remember that her nipple to nipple point is seven inches it's seven inches which means seven inches should be the bust span now we are going to see where i will put that into use but for now let's go ahead and curve the upper part of our cup get your curve ruler and do these curves that you see me do and then from the from the um that the nipple to nipple line that nipple to nipple point you're going to measure what you have from the cup area from this point as you can see i have three inches now for me to complete it seven inches which is the bust span span i need four inches so i'm going to come here and impute four inches now you see where I used that first span that I told you about. Now I'm going to get my curve and I am going to curve it down to the bust point. 
and as you can see we are already having our cup now the next thing we want to work on is the to divide the cup into three for the center i'll be using three inches and for the sides i'll be using two and a half get my curve ruler and give it the perfect curve now the next thing we're going to do now is to extend our armhole line so now we're going to extend it to touch the shoulder lines the shoulder line Now after this we'll be working on our front yoke. Now we want to just connect it to meet the the nipple line, but I'm going to look at the picture again to see what it looks like before I um draw the line. So as I've seen it the line is pointing directly at the nipple line. So I'm going to go ahead and draw the line all the way up to the nipple line so yeah this is what our pattern is looking like now it is time to label that is my center front and this is my side front and my side front is my pattern two while the center front is my pattern one and then this is my cup one cup two and then these two are my cup three i'm going to join them together later and so now it's time for us to go ahead and cut out the front part make sure that you're not having any sharp edges go ahead and smoothen out your edges if you're yet to subscribe to my channel kindly do that and if you're if you've not yet liked this video up to this point i do not know what you're waiting for please give this video a thumbs up and let us continue the tutorial so when i got to this point i realized that i was yet to slash my bust that so i'm going to go ahead and slash it from this point that you see from the towards the down part slash it all the way till i get to the beginning point and then i'm going to close it up and use my solo tape to hold it down but i actually ran out of solo tape so i'm going to just use pins so after i hold it down i'm going to smoothen out the curve and i'm going to continue cutting join this back together with my pin now i'm going to continue cutting let us cut out our yoke and this is our front yoke Make sure you label so as not to confuse yourself or maybe throw the important pattern away. Now it is time for us to separate our cups. So this is my cup one and cup two. As you can see, I added arrows and that arrow is pointing towards the part that I will join it from. And this is my cup three i'm going to go ahead to join the both of them together i can actually do this using a solo tape but because i do not have a solo tape i'm just going to place it together in a fresh pattern paper and i'm going to trace it out and cut it So 
so this is my pick of three now i'm going to go ahead and cut it out Now we are done with um, the front pattern and this is what our pattern looks like. I do hope that you will be trying out this tutorial. Please let me know in the comment section if you will be trying it out. Okay, over to the back pattern, I will be using the top again for the shoulder length. But then the back will not be having a bust that. So that one inch that I took out, I'm going to just take it out from the full top length. The front full top length was 25 inches. Now I'm going to be using 24 inches for the back. At the shoulder, I'm going to measure my shoulder line, which is 15 divided by 2. So that is 7.5. I'm going to come down by 1 inch for the shoulder slanting and 3.5 inches for the neck depth. For the neck width, sorry. I'm going to go down by 8 inches for the armhole. chest line or armhole length eleven inches for my bust point for the back waistline I'll be using sixteen inches eleven inches and sixteen inches for the waistline I'm using sixteen inches because there is no bust at the at the back so the back waistline is usually shorter than the front waistline and i'm going to go ahead and label that is my bust point my waist and my full top length now at the bust point i'm going to measure my 9.25 at the waistline i'm going to measure my 7.5 And at the full top length, I'm going to measure my 10 and a half. And I'm going to connect these lines. I'm going to draw it all the way to the armhole length. And then I'm going to get my curve ruler and cover out my armhole. Now the next thing that I want to derive is the back yoke but firstly we are going to derive the length of that yoke and I want my yoke to be being at the chest line which is that armhole length so I'm going to go ahead and extend that armhole length and that is where I'll be cutting out my yoke from. Let us call it the upper back. The next thing I'm going to measure is my nipple to nipple, which is 3.5. And I'm going to extend it. That is our dart line, but I won't be taking out any dart for this back. Now for the neck depth, I'll be using 1 inch. And then I'm going to come down by 3 inches. What I'm actually drawing now is the yoke. I'm going to come down by 3 inches. And I'm going to use my curve ruler to curve in, into the dart line.
and that is what my yoke looks like now the next thing that i'm supposed to work on is the loop area because this blouse okay before i do the loop area let me go ahead and go up by three inches and then curve into the full top length remember we did this for the front and we're also supposed to do it for the back so this dress this blouse is not going to be having a zipper that is our pattern three and this is our pattern four so the dress is not going to be having a zipper it's going to be having loops so we're going to go ahead and take out two inches from the center back we're going to take out two inches from the waist from the upper back and the full back length so my phone stops recording and i'm just going to use this little sketch to show you we're going to take out two inches from the full length all the way to the upper back and then you're going to draw a straight line and then this x area is going to be cut out you're going to cut out that two inches area you do not need it it will help you so that when you're cinching the back you can at least cinch a little inches out of the person's measurement so now this is a mini representation of what our pattern looks like and these are the places that we're going to cut out so watch me cut it out so that you have a clearer understanding of what i am trying to teach you i'm so sorry my phone stopped recording and i didn't know so you can see the way that i cut it that is the yoke back yoke we're going to go ahead and cut out our back yoke so this is what the back yoke looks like and then we are also going to cut out that two inches and throw it away now we are left with pattern four and pattern three and then we're just going to slash pattern four and three open and this is what our back pattern looks like So now the next thing we want to be doing is to cut out the flay for the sleeve. For the flay, I'll be using this pattern to cut it out. I'm going to go ahead and fold my pattern paper into two. And then this pattern fold is where I am going to be using for the radius. Folded this into two and after measuring it, after cutting it, I'm going to be having a one 80 degree flay so when i cut it on fabric i'm going to fold the fabric into two and then cut it out so that i will be having a 360 degree flay now for you to cut out this you're going to check your client's round um, sleeve measurement towards the ankle area the round ankle my client's round ankle is 10 inches i divided it by 6.28 and i was left with one point some inches so I'm going to go ahead and measure 1.5. I'll be using 1.5 for the radius. So I'm going to go ahead and measure 1.5 all the way around. And then I'm going to cut it out. But before I cut it out, I'm going to also measure the length of the flay. So for the flay, our sleeve length, full sleeve length is 25 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and place 18 inches on the radius cycle and then place the full length on the, the 25 inches and then cut it out so in essence the lace before the flay would be 18 inches of length so all you have to do is minus 25 inches from minus 18 inches from 25 inches and whatever it gives you that is going to be the length of your flay so go ahead and measure out the length of your flay and then give it a very nice curve and then the next thing you're going to do is to cut it out it's quite simple and easy it's actually not a very difficult thing to do all you need to do is pay attention so you're going to go ahead and cut the, the radius So this is the flay. And 
and this is 180 degrees now so when i'm cutting it on fabric i'm going to place my fabric on fold and i'm going to cut it to have a 360 degree flay watch next video for part two